Takeometrics Flywheel is a retail optimization platform that gives you business, product, and advertising insights on Amazon. It helps you put advertising in context of your overall business and analyze not just at the account level, but at the product level. With Flywheel, we take into account your fees, ad spend, and cost of goods to give you your gross margin and profit. You can also take actions to change your metrics, such as adding new keywords and making keyword bid changes. So here's a live look into the Flywheel home screen. You can analyze your overall business and also get an idea for your next steps. So as you can see at the top of the screen, in my highlighted red box, so first let's look at that estimated gross profit. So we can see how much money and profit we've made over a given time period. Then we have total sales, total ad sales, total ad spend, and finally that last metric, T-A-C-O-S, or tacos. This is your total ad cost per sale. This tells you how your ad spend is impacting your overall business. Next, I've highlighted opportunities. The opportunities section lets you know what your next steps are and what actions you need to take. So you'll look here to see what products need COGS entered or cost of goods sold, what campaigns need adjusting, and what weekly keyword recommendations you need to act on. So that COGS or cost of goods sold is a critical metric for you to enter so you can get the proper SKU level margin and profitability reporting output by this flywheel software. Now finally on this flywheel dashboard or home screen is the discover flywheel box. This indicates all the bid changes made for you over the past 30 days. The flywheel software has a price aware bidding algorithm that takes into account a product's selling price to get you the right bid faster. So with this automation, you can save time by letting the machine learning algorithm evaluate and change hundreds of bids per day for you. So now as you can see in the left sidebar, the campaigns page is highlighted, so we can see actual campaigns running within Amazon right in this dashboard. So now notice the red column I have highlighted, the set max ad cost per sale, or max. Enabling this automation is as simple as setting this max ad cost per sale at each campaign level. So this metric indicates how much you are willing to spend on advertising per sale. A higher MACS means that you are willing to be more aggressive while a lower MACS means you're more focused on profitability. Now, as you can see in the left sidebar, under My Products, I'm on the Product Metrics page. In the Product Metrics section of Flywheel, you can see the gross profit and margin for each SKU. You can also review performance for a particular ASIN or product line. Now, notice in the far right-hand column, you can see whether a product is being advertised, and if so, in how many campaigns. Outside of strategic exceptions, most products should only be advertised in one auto and one manual campaign. Now notice the columns I have highlighted in the middle of the screen, the estimated gross margin and estimated gross profit. So we can sort by margin to see if your products with high margins can benefit from extra advertising and where you should consider scaling back advertising spend. Another thing I love in this software, notice in the left sidebar, I'm under Advertising, Keyword Actions, and this first tab, Negative Keywords. Effective campaign management requires regular keyword actions, in addition to bid changes. Negative keywords are one way to cut out wasted ad spend and make a campaign more efficient. Make sure to evaluate each recommendation for relevancy, dollars spent, and how long it's been running before acting on that search term suggestion. The next tab on this Keyword Actions page automatic to manual suggestions. So this automatic to manual section lets you explore and exploit your best performing search terms from your automatic campaigns. So you can take these best performing keywords and add them to your manual campaign. A mirrored campaign structure is ideal for ease of campaign management and optimal performance. Next, under targeting improvements, we can refine match types on keywords by adding more phrase and exact match type keywords. While narrowing match type keywords will produce a smaller search volume, they can help you spend more efficiently and capture market share for those relevant searches. Now the final part of this software I want to cover is analytics, as you can see in the left sidebar. So on the analytics custom page, you can click this drop down and view all the available metrics. 
But as you can see, there are two tabs. This custom page lets you pick any two metrics to compare and analyze the performance at your account level. It's important to review performance regularly so you can make adjustments to bidding and keyword strategies. So now head over to CourseEnvy.com slash flywheel. We at Course Envy have partnered with Take a Metrics and they're offering a free Amazon account audit by one of their Amazon experts. This is a limited time offer, so head over to CourseEnvy.com slash flywheel to claim your free audit now.